and we're live. Somebody wrote me a, a message and I'm going to, this is some paraphrasing involved to make it more anonymous, but here we go. Woody, I'm in my early 20s and I've been dating my girlfriend since I'm 16. Life's been good to us. We made it through college, et cetera, et cetera. She brought up the fact that she's been feeling unhappy in her life and maybe it's us. She feels like there's something missing inside of her and she needs to be alone to find out who she is. I guess I feel like I have those feelings too. Like I'm missing a part of who I am and maybe it does stem from being together for so much of our lives. We still love each other. We're still together and we've been thinking about getting married, but finances never really allowed it to happen. I'm writing to you because you have this everybody gets two chances except Jackie rule. And then he goes on to explain, I'm trying to keep it anonymous a little bit, but this girl sent some inappropriate messages over Facebook to someone who's physically far away. So oh. it has never been anything physical, but he feels emotionally cheated on and he's kind of hurt. He asked if we've ever been something like this. Uh, no. And, uh, uh, you know, he's just having second thoughts about marriage a little bit. He definitely sees himself as like a parallel to what Jackie and I have. And he's very attached to this girl. But, you know, I want to spend the rest mm. of my life. But he, okay, but he wants to spend I'm the rest watching, of yeah. yeah, he wants to spend the rest of his life with her. But he's asking if he's being weak and just riding this wave. Arian, thoughts? Oh, the first one. So my initial thought was like, yo, it's over, and this is why. From my experience, women that are committed, like, are committed, right? So it's like if 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 um, it's it's rare. Women are more monogamously inclined. Uh, yeah, the men are. Uh, for whatever reasons, it could be evolutionary reasons. For whatever reason, mm -hmm. the ones that that like kind of tail off, like they're they'll that's what they want to do. But what? But an even deeper point is is this is they've been together since they were sixteen, so that's high school. Like you have no clue who you are in high school. You have no clue who you are in your early 20s. He's in his mm -hmm. early 20s. Like, I just turned 30, and I just now feel like I'm finding myself as a man, right? So, I, I mean, everybody is different, of course. So if you marry your high school sweetheart, that's that's cool beans. But I think if you allow yourself to grow, whatever that may be, and not hold on to uh, the normalcy that is your life, allow yourself to grow and experiment. And if it's real, you'll come back. And if it's not... I, I, it sounds to me like both of them want to explore, and mm -hmm. if it, it, it makes sense to me, if, if you're and if she if she's sending messages and stuff like that, it's like, yo, go explore. I always like I, I'm with my girl now, and I always tell her like, anytime she has any kind of inquisitions about me, I'm always telling her like, listen, like if I want, if I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't. I don't got nothing. We ain't married. Like yeah, I, I would I would leave. Trust me. But like I mm -hmm. want to be here. So I think that's just me being a man. So like there's there's a difference. In my opinion, I, I I would advise them to explore themselves, and that would help them figure out their situation. Do you think maybe they should take a little break? Go go go, do some do some banging. If 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 it, <laughs> I don't know if they want to do. Yeah, all, if, if you take a break that. for the express purpose of fucking other people, you're never going to get back together like that. Well, well not not even that. If that if that's what you want to do anyway, like I'm not saying you're wrong about wanting to do that. It's over. Yeah. 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 Like or when maybe. you're already sending these messages to someone, you've like she's already <laughs> indicating that she's looking for something else. Mm -hmm. Like th that's that's the only signal you need. And something that's common with women that men don't do as much is men are more likely to just end it, just end the relationship. Women do something uh, very commonly where they'll hold on to their current man and only yeah. let go once yeah. they've got a hand on another branch because women value the security of a relationship much more than men do because that's what men bring to the table. And so they don't want to be left in the ether on their own. And so they'll be with someone right up until they switch to someone else. So and men in relationships are, are crossing a river, hopping from rock to rock. Women in relationships are climbing a ladder rung to rung. Yeah, women tend to spend far less time monogamous or uh, single between relationships. <clears throat> I don't Women agree with are, that. Women are more serial monogamous. It, it's true. <laughs> Is it oh, true? Well. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, you, you fucking yeah. changed my mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, fuck. If Taylor says it's true, now I do agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's undoubtedly true. It is decided. Indubitably. <laughs> it is known. Indubitably. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that's not my experience at all. If only I. Anyway. Yeah, you've got an awesome wife. Like, like, like one of the. I think one of the most unique things about Woody here is his relationship with his wife is is it's it's like a Disney story. I feel like it's a real one in a million thing. They you know I, they say half of marriages in a divorce, but that's a skewed statistic mm. because so many people mm -hmm. get multiple divorces. But in any case, they really love each other and they depend on each other. They have this sort of two sides of the coin type teamwork thing going on where it feels like they both appreciate what the other brings to the the, the coin so much and they, they know that they need it. Woody doesn't know how to buy dog food. Woody doesn't know where the post office is. He needs Jackie. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie never made a half million dollars in a year. That's a hell of a talent. <laughs> she needs yeah. Woody. Jackie, Jackie never woke up every morning with three hours of sleep and went into a job and worked, mm -hmm. her, worked, worked her ass off to like build up a retirement plan or a 401k. But what she did was equally difficult, equally important and equally admirable, I think. You guys have an amazing thing going on. I, I've always really admired your relationship. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I got super lucky with Jackie. She I like that. that. I like that, Kyle. That, that, whatever that is, keep that. Stay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how uh, Arian tries to make you into the kind of person that you're just not. <laughs> I just, that's just, I just like to bask in these moments, man. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> in the positivity. The family. I, 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 oh. I, I, I want to talk about your family now. Um, Can I, on the last topic. Oh, real please. Quick. I would hate to see this guy get married purely out of momentum. He's been with her for seven oh, yeah. years, which is Definitely. a third of his life. And, and sometimes there's just no impetus to fully end a relationship, even though it should be ended. And I think he might be there. 